just we just played good defense at the end. Uh, we played hard. We played aggressive. Uh, we believed in ourselves, and we had a lot of confidence in the stuff that we were doing. We executed down the stretch, and um, like I said, defense it really took over in the game. Just um, had spoken to us, and he said he, you kept guys going with the energy. He talked about everyone hitting big shots, but he said you really kept. How, how crucial is that now at this point, given the way things have gone in the early part of the season, to make sure guys have that type of mentality? Uh, it's huge. You know, um, I've been in these type of situations before you know, with previous teams with the Sixers and stuff like that. Uh, Minnesota, of course. You know, so, you know, I, I know how to continue to play through certain situations, and this is one of those situations where we have to continue to play. You know, I've been, like I said, I've been in a situation before where we started off 3-13 and 13 and end up still making the playoffs at the end of the season. So, you know, it, it's a possibility for anything, especially when in basketball games. So, you know, I, I knew, you know, if I continued to pick up my energy, that guys were going to follow suit. Your starting five have been very productive. You, Jarrett, Brooke, um, and so on. But to have guys like Shane and Wayne step up in, in situations like this, how much does this change the complexion of what this team can be if they continue to contribute like that? Uh, it changes a lot. You know, um, we've said all year long. You know, if our second unit gives us, uh, you know, a couple key guys off the bench to give us some points and give us some rebounds and give us some uh, easy opportunities, you know, to uh, boost up our lead uh, or you know even maintain the lead, then it's huge for us as as a whole as a whole unit.